This video tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes and all kinds of topics. Through classes on Skillshare, I've explored illustration, iPhone photography, how to establish a creative workflow, and more. I actually first tried Skillshare because I was trying to find classes on Procreate. The first class I took was Digital Illustration, Learn to Use Procreate by Jaron Vogel. And if you're ever curious about something, it's easy to find a class on Skillshare to download and watch when you have those weird pockets of time when you're waiting for something. I watched Skillshare classes while my son was taking karate classes. He got a black belt and I figured out the basics of digital illustration. For less than $10 a month for the premium annual membership, I can honestly say it's been totally worth it for me. I've had that membership for years now. So as someone who uses it all the time and love it, I was all heck yeah when they offered to sponsor this video tutorial. If you'd like to try Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my video description will get a free trial of premium membership. So if you have a limited time and want to feel like you're moving forward towards your creative goals, it's definitely something to try. Hi, this is Jen Swift to WellCraftTheStudio.com, and if you have a Cricut and you've ever wanted to use your Procreate designs to create a handmade project with your Cricut, the first thing you need to do be is to be able to take your Procreate designs and move them into Cricut Design Space. And this tutorial is going to show you how to do it. Step one is to make the background of your Procreate art transparent. So what I mean by that is when you're on a canvas, so here's my stickers, I'm in Procreate. Um, I have my different layers, and then at the very bottom is the background color. If you just uncheck that, then your background is transparent. You can see all the little grays that I would, um, little gray lines, the kind of checkerboard, and that is transparent. Step two is to share as a PNG. So we're gonna go right up here to the little wrench, and in the drop down menu, you'll see there's add canvas. We want share. And under share image, we're going to come down to PNG. It's so exporting. And now I have the chance or the opportunity to save it in different places. So because I'm using it, going to my Mac desktop, I'm probably just going to save the image and then airdrop it, or I will save to my files, which is my iCloud. Now you can also use Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive. And that works too, if you're saving to a PC. Step four, we're going to be doing on the desktop. Now, Cricut Design Space for desktop and Cricut Design Space for mobile are different, but they're pretty similar. So what I want to do is show you on the desktop because there's a couple of extra steps when you're image processing. But um, you guys can probably extrapolate and figure it out yourself on the mobile from this. If you want a mobile specific video, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments. So right here is a new project. You can also hit it up here. It's the same thing. So we're going to start that so that we can get to our new canvas. Step five is to actually upload your image. Now that we're in the new canvas, we can go to the upload icon, which is here on the left toolbar, hit that, and we go to upload image. And then we're going to hit browse. And now in iCloud, under downloads, I can find that Cricut stickers engraving. So I'm going to select that, hit open, and there we go. Now step six is to process your image in Cricut Design Space. So I've got a print and cut project as stickers. and right away I want to choose complex. Now the only reason you'd ever want to choose simple or moderately complex is if you're doing hand lettering in Procreate and you're going to cut out in vinyl and you're not using the print and cut at all. In which case you're fine just if it's a black and white image to go with one of these. If you're using mobile um, you don't get this option. Okay so step number seven is to clean up your your background. Now this is optional. You've already got your transparent background from Procreate. And so you can see here on my screen that I've got all those little check boxes. And that again means that it's transparent. So if you'd want to, one little tip for cleaning up little stray bits that you might have noticed when you upload it or when you finished your drawing is sometimes you get little, little marks here. If you just have the magic wand and you click on the background, that can sometimes clean some of those little bits up. So just kind of a little trick. You don't have to do it. So we're going to hit continue. And now we have the option of saving your image. 
So that's step number eight. So cut image is what you would want to use if you're doing like the, um, if you're going to cut out of vinyl or you're going to use your engraving tool or debossing tool or writing tool, then you can go ahead and do cut image. But it shows up as black and white like this and that's, you get the outline of it. Now, if you're doing stickers or doing printable vinyl on t-shirts or anything like that, you're going to want to choose print and cut image. So I'm just going to go ahead and click to select that. And then I'm going to say upload. Okay, now step number nine is to insert your image into your canvas. So now that we've uploaded our image, <laughs> I've done it a few different times for practice. Um, you want to click on that image. And then we're going to go right down here to insert images. And it brings us right back to that canvas that we started with. Only now we have our image. And that is how easy it is. Nine simple steps on how to create or bring your Procreate art into Cricut Design Space. Don't forget to grab that checklist that I have. And um, over at my blog at wellcraftedstudio.com, it just makes the simple thing even simpler. Thanks for watching that tutorial. I know it was super simple, but super simple isn't always super obvious. And just to help you make it like even simpler, I went ahead and made a checklist for you of all those different steps. And I'm gonna have that available over at my blog, wellcraftedstudio.com. And if you'd like to see any of the project tutorials that I've done that take you from the Procreate to Cricut and all the steps between to create different projects, then I love to have you check out the playlist that I have here. And go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.